So the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute was established in 1994, and for the last 26 years, we've been providing breakthroughs in cardiovascular research. So one of the really cool things we have here at the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute is our Innovation Center, and this was initially set up by a $25 million grant from the New South Wales government. So we work on making heart tissue, and by using patient samples, we can replicate the genetic changes that have caused their disease. My role in the lab is I develop the tools and techniques that allow us to study biology at the macro and the nano scale. I selected the Sigamax X35 because I was looking for a 3D printer that could 3D print with any type of material, because what we do is highly customized work. So if you think about the human heart, it's not a rigid plastic, which is what a lot of the other 3D printers were limiting us to. So we wanted materials that could be bended and flexed by the heart tissue that we create here. The precision, we couldn't have asked for anything better. What this 3D printer can print, it's a third of the diameter of a human hair. We are 3D printing incredibly small microstructures, which we then introduce cells into. This 3D printer has really given us the ability to create different scaffolds from which we're able to meld our heart cells, and which gives them the 3D structure in order for them to get proper maturity. The microstructures we're making here with the 3D printer really give us that edge of more functionality and something that more closely resembles what an adult human heart would look like in a dish. I find the 3D printer to be very intuitive and easy to use. There are a lot of potential things that we can do with the 3D printer. It's really just down to our imaginations and that's magical. <laughs>